Hey there, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas, ST Rover, and this short video I'm going to cover a long-term experience with the Front Runner Flat Packs. I've used these for many years, and uh, they're pretty affordable. They, they break down and they're flat if you want to store them, if you're not using them. If you have the Front Runner drawer systems, they integrate with that, or if you're using the Wolf Pack crates, they work with that as well. So today we're going to talk just a little bit about my experience and my recommendations. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I purchased these with my own money. I have actually one, two, three, four of them at this point. So the flat packs are, are really pretty light. Uh, they're made kind of with a canvas exterior and a vinyl interior. Uh, Front Runner actually puts a, a little um, tag that you can put for kitchen tools, clothes, whatever you're using it for. And um, I just think that they're a good solution, uh, probably a step or two above what we would say the uh, Home Depot crate would be. Um, and the added benefits of having handles on every side. Now, this one doesn't have a handle on the top, and the older versions that I had actually had a handle, uh, so I guess they're not making those anymore. So let me show you a little bit about this uh, flat, flat uh, case. It comes with uh, zippers so you can open it up from both sides. Uh, these say YKK, so I'm not sure whether Front Runner is still using those in current versions or not. But uh, really hefty uh, zippers. And as you open this up, the uh, lid has two uh, mesh pockets for things that you want to see. And I'm using this bag for a kitchen bag. And then below is a zippered pouch for things that you want to be having more secure. And um, you can see here that uh, this is a kitchen bag, carry coffee, grinder, uh, portable stove. It's got a divider here that it's Velcro, so you can uh, take this completely out if you want, or you can move it uh, anywhere kind of where the Velcro is on the sides of the flat pack. So if you want to collapse it, uh, you just uh, there's a, um, a bottom that's got some board in it that makes it a little bit firmer, so you fold this up. And then you basically just collapse in, and then you can fold this over, and that collapses, and that makes it nice and flat. So this would store easily somewhere where you didn't have a lot of space, and um, then you can just fold it back up, put this back down. So another added benefit of the flat packs is that you can, if you've got the Wolf packs, this is the old version of the Wolf Pack Front Runner. Uh, they don't have those anymore. They now make a, uh, a Wolf Pack Pro that's a lot easier to open and secure to the top of your vehicle. Uh, but these things, in fact, when I started overlanding many years ago, this is what I first started out with. There's about six or eight of these. The problem with them is whatever I wanted seemed to be in the bottom crate, um, so I did go away from them. But uh, very, very uh, sturdy and uh, not waterproof, but certainly weather resistant. So this can just go right in and drop that. These are the, the higher top, uh, which you can get that so more capacity, but they also make a flat uh, top that's less capacity. And the final benefit for those that have the front runner drawers is that they fit into the drawers perfectly. So here what I have are three of the flat packs and I utilize them for tool storage or for uh, additional storage and stuff like that. These are the old style, which I don't think they have anymore that have the uh, handle on the top, which is handy for the drawer system. But um, again, I think these are uh, worth your consideration if you're trying to build uh, an overlanding system that doesn't cost a lot of money. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by. If you found this useful, uh, consider a like or a subscribe. And uh, remember, if you see me out and about, uh, stop and say hi. 
And remember, get outside.